Now we're going to move on to some of our power development here. And for this month, we're going to start with our sled squat row. Again, this is one of my favorite exercises. Total body exercise here. Sitting back. Remember here, we want the sled to hold us up a little bit. So I'm not leaning forward. As you notice here, if you can see my torso, I'm upright as I sit. I'm not leaning forward. I'm going to drive back now. I'm letting suspension trainer hold me up. And so there's not a lot of weight on that sled. I weigh way more than the weight that's on that sled and the sled combined. There is some intention for me not to fall here, but as I drive through, I'm gonna use those hips first. Remember, the legs start the drive, the arms get to um, get work in after that momentum is built up. So get a good squeeze at the end. Every rep, again, not thinking about go, we're gonna go all the way down the floor. And for most people, that's gonna be somewhere between five and eight reps, sometimes a little bit more, but most of the time between five and eight. But I want you to think about one rep at a time. Don't rush to get in any. As you can see here, I'm getting very intentional. We're making a video, but this is how I want to do it each time anyway. This is how I do it when I'm doing my workout if there was no camera around. Reset, yank that fucking sled. That's what you gotta think about every time. Like your kid is in the grocery store having their tantrum because you won't buy him something, and you just gotta grab him by the collar and say, get the hell over here. Then you throw them across the room, kick them a couple times if that's what they need, right? But anyway, let's just start with the momentum that you get from yanking them first. So. We're gonna go one way down the floor here, um, and then we'll push the sled back. The sled shouldn't be so heavy on the push because this movement here is where we're gonna get a lot of weight in, but we're gonna push that sled back down the floor. And I'm glad I mentioned something there because I also wanted to remember, we want speed on the sled. If you are trying to muscle this sled and it's not moving very far, it's not moving very fast, it's too heavy. This is designed, the way we're using it for this workout is designed to get all those muscles firing. It's like we're turning on the light, flipping that switch, turning the lights on in the house, right? So think speed, not weight. Now, if you find that that sled's about to run your toes over on every single pole, it's a little too light. You could go heavier there, but we wanna think power on this one, fast movements. You're moving fast, sled's moving fast, all those muscles are firing. Once we're done with that, we're gonna hit up that skier for 10 pulls here. So again, using that your whole body for this one, up to those tippy toes, reaching high, sit back, use that body weight for momentum, deep breath in, push that air as you're pulling. Now also notice here, I'm intentional with those reps. One good rep at a time. Now I'm not moving slow, but I'm also not thinking, pull go, pull go, pull go, pull go. I want to think on each rep, I'm reaching high, and every pull, just like on the sled, I'm pulling as hard as I can. So be intentional with your tempo and the power that you're putting in these reps. We'll get two sets of these in. I want you working hard enough that you do want one to two minutes to recover before you go again. And don't worry, depending on the number of people there, you might have to wait one or two minutes. Um, I think that's actually, I like when that's built in because of the number of people. Because some of you try to get things done quickly, you'll get more out of it if you give yourself a little bit of time to recover here. 